This video is brought to you by Harry's.com. Now, Harry's is a premium shaving company at an affordable price. When we first got our kit, which is pretty complete, by the way, you get the razor, the razor cover, uh -huh. which you can travel with, which is what I like, and then you get the foam in gel. Not only do I, you know, shave everything, but, you know, I got to line my beard up and mm -hmm. sometimes I rock the goatee. So it's important to have a premium brand, but razors cost a lot. Yeah, Ryan, the price is fair, man. I, I love the convenience of it as well. I mean, you know, getting, getting these razors kind of sent to us in the comfort of your own home, mm -hmm. still getting a high quality premium razor, you know, to touch these whiskers, man. You know, I, I ain't got much to work with, but what I do have to work <laughs> with, it's worked very well. And I think a big reason for the quality overall, man, is that they have their own factory in Germany. I thought that was really interesting. And that's one thing that can't be understated, George, is the quality. Cause when you're shaving, especially like when I'm shaving to get my uh, crisp line up here, you want to make sure that the blade is not only good quality, but the weight of the uh, shaver actually helps me uh, control it better and it flexes. This flex here allows it not to cut my skin. Mm -hmm. So that's extremely important. And that was one of the things that I look at, number one, in every, every razor, but especially when I was looking at our Harry's. Looks like the one that Ryan has in his hand is the Ocean Sage color. That's the two-tone color. Yep. You know what I mean? That's a new offering, I believe, that they're offering now. Let's not forget about the shave gel that comes with the starter kit as well, man. I've been using it for a week. I haven't broken out. It's a great sign. I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. Feels good. It's got aloe in it, so it's very good for the skin. And last but not least, guys, is it comes with a 100% quality guarantee. So you get a 100% money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied with your purchase. So big shout out, man, to Harry's one more time for hooking us up with our trial kit. We thoroughly enjoy it. And to redeem your trial kit, make sure you use our code in the description and you'll get your trial set for $3. All right, Patreon. Oh, yeah. It's Thrash Week. Why? Just because we want to do this shit. For whom the bell tolls, the reason why, guys, is because <laughs> this I, it is what like it is. Mad it's been requested. a huge, even on a poll that we did with Black, when Black and won mm -hmm. the poll, this was up there, one of the highest yep, requests. It was. Big, big request on YouTube for, since we started the channel. From the Ride to Lightning album. Yes, sir. Let's get into it. Metallica, for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> Share it with the people. <laughs> you know what? George wants me to just get massacred for what I just said. I was no, hoping. I actually the, think it's pretty I accurate. This, I was hoping the song was kind of drowning me out that you guys didn't hear what I was saying. The way that started, I, already I'm already liking it. I just I, I love their sound. But I don't know if you guys know this song. Um, watching me, I always feel like somebody's watching me. I don't know if y'all know that. That might be for y'all time, or y'all just don't listen oh, they to know that. that shit. But um, yeah, y'all know that. That, da -da, da -da, da -da, that, that it sounded like a metaled out version of the beginning of that song. That's <laughs> I, what that I, sounded I like that to me. Bit, that, that cadence of the way it was yeah. like. It sounded like a, a, a metaled out bit. version of that. So, I don't know who the fuck, that, who is that? I don't know who the fuck that, I always thought that was Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson, but it's not though. It's not him. It's not Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's not him. Sorry, guys. But anyway, loving it so far. That's just, I don't, that just popped in my there head. There was a bell. Yeah. <laughs> so I see the relevance for whom the bell tolls. I do know that that's, um, I've always known that that was sort of a, um, sort of a, uh, uh, it's taken from Ernest Hemingway, a novel that he's done. I've never read hmm. the, the novel for whom the bell tolls, but I understand. I didn't know that. Okay. It comes from that. So um, we'll get into the lyrics here and see what this is about, but let's get back to it. <laughs> Okay. 
start recording these riffs. That you know how I know I'm starting to become, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to transform into dare I say a metalhead is because I'm starting to think of riffs. I'm starting to think of my own little riffs. Or how you would do the melody? And yeah, I, it, within I am. The, um, I'm gonna start recording the, them. No, I'm gonna start recording them and I'm gonna play like the recording on. And we're gonna see. We're not like it's gonna be with my mouth. But I do want to learn how to play the guitar. But I'm, I'm starting. Anyways, so I like the way this sounds. Yeah. yeah, it sounds great, man. Like, like the way it sounds. I love Metallica, man. I yeah. really love their sound, man. I love, even though it may be, it might seem simple to some, some people. Yeah, I, I, I don't like play it. instruments, so maybe people can look at this and be like, oh, man, that's, that's kind of simple to play. But the way that they put it together, man, and musically, it just sounds good to me. You know what I'm saying? I, no. I, I, I know, you know, good to me is relative, but mm -hmm. I mean, the way they put it together just speaks to me, man. I really love their sound. And to me, I, I, do I dare say, man, when, when you're listening to Metallica and, and if, if you are comparing them to other bands, I, I just think that this is what the sound kind of originated from. And, and I know it, they didn't create the sound, guys. That's not what I'm saying. But um, when I hear them and I think of like, strong heavy metal riffs and and the way um metal sounds i think of metallica, metallica first man. maybe it's just because that was the one of the first bands Core. i've ever been introduced to yep. but to me i just think that they're kind of like you know the the freaking reference point i think when i think you of, know when i think of metal i think of hard and aggressive i think of yeah, a little bit yeah. of maybe the faster pace just aggressive mm -hmm. uh, uh uh nasty transitions just mean. That's what I think of when I yeah. think of like, when, and we've said this before, like the heart of metal. I think of this sound. You know what I mean? Now this sound doesn't necessarily embody like um, some of the other songs that yeah. I really, I yeah. think I probably prefer over Metallica. Maybe we'll see. I'm still kind of getting into this one. This one is um, um, still grabbing me, of course. But, but this was made what? In 80, 80s or something? When yep. was this made? Yep, in the 80s. Yep. Yeah, 84. Yep. 84. So to me, man, and it still sounds uh, powerful. Yep and uh clear you know I me mean? because you, you've seen me guys say that you know i think everybody should go back and remaster remaster their music and i think metallica actually does do yeah. remaster their shit but it still sounds um like it could come out now yep to me it you know sounds good dude you know they just I, I just think that even in this you had mentioned like simple this is a seems so far at least obviously we're still getting into the song but this does seem a little bit more simple but it's just, it's almost like that Chris Isaac song, Wicked Game. I know this is like, a, it's a random, crazy comparison. But that riff, opening up that song, that that is extremely simple. Yeah. But it's chilling. Like, it it like it like haunts you. Yeah. And they true. just know how to, just when they, when they, when they, they can, just, I don't know, man. When, yeah, I don't know. When they put so riffs together. To explain, but it's just. <laughs> but they, it's just like they understand um, when they're putting these riffs together, how to sort of um, embody a, a feeling. Yeah. You know, it just, to me, that's what I'm saying. It's not all about complexity. I think that's great if you can sort of combine mm -hmm. feeling and emotion um, with complexity, but they just do a good job. Actually, I, I, I got something else to say because I'm talking too much. No, I got I something mean, else to say about Metallica too, but I'm probably save that for later on in the video because we need to get to this yeah. song. <laughs> They're just hot, man. Let's keep it what going. What can you say? Let's keep yeah. it going. guitar man to be able to hit those powerful riffs like that yeah. like I, I love the way that sounds guys i just i don't i know I've, i sound like a broken record man but i feel like man if i learned how to play a, a guitar and was able to play it at that level and hit those long long powerful riffs it's like 
if I was in like a, a, a argument or something with someone, but like I just fucking plug in my fucking guitar and be like, you know what I'm saying? Just shut the shit down. I don't care what you're talking about. What would you say? Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you just don't even have. I know that's kind of crazy as hell. But why, why did you do that? Yeah, no, just like yeah, <laughs> just shut the shit down. But. I know I'm, I'm kind of uh, falling off the rails here, guys, because I get excited. But um, the moral of the story is I just love the way that sounds. Yeah. And I think that when those little pauses that... I mean, it just it comes in um, at, a, at a point within the song where it's... I, I, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's, 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 almost, it's almost like a no. Yeah. Damn, I'm fucking bumping into the damn mic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. almost like a no. They hit a no in the music. And... and um, you know it's coming, but it's so much you anticipate that hard, long mm-hmm. riff. Like especially in this song, I, I mean, agree. That, that is what is blaring to me. How it's when they got into the actual verse and it's very like subdued. You know, it's kind of you know groovy. You just bobbing your head, but then you hear that kind of drumming breakdown yep. before that powerful riff comes back in and yeah. hits you upside the head, and you just like that shit is just incredible, man. I think I, I love, love that, part. that. I love that part. I, I think, know I know none of that made sense, man. I know I'm just I'm no, just excited. <laughs> no, I understood exactly what you mean. You know what it is about Metallica, man. I feel like certain songs that I, when I listen to them, I'm like, to me, it's almost like a um, how can I put this, man? It's just like a, a, a like a child rebel soldier, like that's been through a lot of crazy shit in their lives. Like they got adopted or some shit by like a refined family and ended up being like raised the right way and going to college, but they still have like that. <laughs> And like made the deans listen became like intelligent. It's just like they have a sophistic. It's like they have like a sophistication to, like a rawness. Like they, they have rawness, which I think speaks to a right. lot of people. But there I is a there is a sophistication to them. It's just like that's in the heart of what they do. Or you know the, the rawness yeah. is the heart of what they do. But there's a sophistication within that rawness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just how I how it's I put see together it. perfectly. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like Master of Puppets is uh to me it's very sophisticated. It's a very well composed piece of music. Yeah. But it's raw as fuck. It speaks to sort of the um sort of that primal nature, but at the same time you have these melodic breaks and and just the tightness of the band, the technical yep. ability. Mm-hmm. They just have the perfect blend. It's just and dude, I get it, man. I know, I, I know we're talking. I have about no it. idea. That, that was a weird. No, analogy. no, me, we we both are excited. Uh, it's like a refined hood dude, yeah. a dude from the hood. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit, a little bit of myself, like a dude that's from the hood, but, but he, you know, but he ended up going to college and getting his shit right. Yeah. But he still has those traits from the hood and shit. So but you're evolved. But he can turn shit on yeah, when I he needs it. to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take it to whatever level he needs Zero to. to but he doesn't want to do that. No, I'm, just, I'm, black, I'm blacking out and shit. He doesn't want to take it to that level. But if you date me, do that. You get me to that. Let's keep it going, man. The dead uh, embryonic cells before this, guys. Truth telling time. Dead embryonic cells by Sepultura yep. is fire. It is. But when that when they got into the vocals, it's almost like you strip away the music and you just hear him singing. It yep. sounds good. Yes, it does. Uh, you could just strip away the music and he sounds good vocally as well, which adds. To me, this, this doesn't even need it's to polished. have good vocals. To and me. you know, George, you make a great point, man. And I was kind of going to save this at the end of the video, yeah, but yeah. now I, I, you didn't got me started now, so <laughs> I, I got to say it now, be- man. Um, I think a lot of people that um, respect Metallica that would never say anything bad about the Big Four, you know. But 
not they don't necessarily um, listen to their music and they they rather something a little bit more raw and authentic to the genre. Um, here's what I have to say about that. I can appreciate that because I feel that way with R&B and I feel that way with hip hop too because there's a lot of things um, that there's a lot of people that are not necessarily mainstream, but they speak to the core, right? They speak to the core yep, culture always. of what you like, right? So you're always going to say, you know what? They got the stamp. I, I got to give them the stamp. But Some level of respect what, that you have to give them. Yes, but what I what I see in Metallica, man, is um, a band that keeps all the elements mm -hmm. that a purist should love. He, they still have all those elements, but it's still polished enough that it it is um, accepted by a mass group of people. And that is not always bad. That is it, great. It's amazing. And, and that's you why should be happy. I'm sorry. You should be happy as a purist that a band like this can bring people that never would have gave your shit a chance. Yeah, but they get a lot of love, though. Metallica, you know Metallica is, you, it's, don't get me wrong. They get, hey, but yeah. it's far, to me, far and few between in comparison to a lot of, like, great bands. They get the love, and I think it's deserved. Mm -hmm. But on to add to that, but still can appeal to... The, the snobs, right? Because there's levels. There's, there's purists and then there's just like pure straight up snobs like prog rock, prog, that's it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like those guys can still appreciate, I think, the sophistication that they have in their music, just uh, um, the, how they compose right. their music, right? The elements of the bell and just the dueling guitars, I think is what I heard in there. I could be wrong on it's that. Crazy, but man. there's just a lot of like elements in here that show that they truly take their time to to add a little bit of intricacy um, and just in, in layers and depth to what they're doing as well. Even with the same, with, even with the simple band, band, rant, rant, even within that, there's other things happening, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. There's a guitar in the background there, you know what I mean? Yep. The bells, mm -hmm. whatever, like I said, all these extra elements. So all of that, all of that is what I think is, yep. is uh, contributed to why they're so respected and, and also still commercially appreciated as well. And the vocals. And the vocals and, and the, the melody within the vocals. So there's melody <laughs> that speaks to people who are just more, you know, maybe not hardcore fans of metal, but it has a, a, a sort of an aggression within the melody. Yep. So it's like he's fucking, you can hear it. Yeah. You can hear the aggression, yeah. but you have to acknowledge the melody. So it's like it's just good enough. Yep. Because, you know, metalheads, like, melody is like kryptonite. The yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> That's so true. Anytime somebody can sing, they're like, man, I got it. I'm joking. Not really. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just, uh -oh. enough, just enough aggression in it, you know, to not sound boy bandish and pop, but which appeals to, you know what I mean, to, to the commercial audience. But at the same time, there's aggression that they appreciate as well that doesn't seem to make the music, the aesthetic of the music sound too yeah. non-metal. You know what I mean? So they just balance everything. They just have such great balance with how they create their music. It's, it's, pretty, yeah. it's pretty awesome, man. It is, man. All right, so we don't need to do a conclusion now. Let's keep it going. <laughs> that's it. Let's just finish it up, man. Like, that's it. That's the end of the video. Let's get back to it, guys. Roll, roll, the See, that just sounds good. Here we go. Understanding how to end the song and, and provide like a climax to, to something. It's just, yep. yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a good song, man. Yeah, they're the truth, man. Yeah, not not one of my favorites from them, but favorites from them. But I, it's still something that I would play. Yeah, I, that's that's still yeah. something that I would rock. 
Um, I do really, really appreciate when Metallica transitions the fuck out of me, though, and they, when they thrash out. Yeah. And, they, and, they had, and they're at a, an aggressive high pace. I do appreciate that. Not to say that that's the only side of Metallica that I like, but I do like that when it comes to Metallica, because I think they do that so well, man. I think they do that better than anyone I've heard, at least yet, even though Sepultura with Dead Embryonic Cells really did impress me. But when it comes to thrashing and making those, like, those nasty transitions but keeping it tight at the same time, um, having that intensity, you know, that's typically what I've I've really loved about them. But this was a this was a good song, man. Yeah, man. I don't I don't see how that can be looked at. I can actually I can kind of see how people would look at this song in comparison to some of the like Blacken that we did, mm-hmm. um, Master of Puppets. What else did we do? You know, Sabbath True was I. Just, yeah, that's just yeah. They, they don't want to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sabbath True was fire. But I love that damn I song. I love that song. Um, you know, Master of Puppets. Some of some of the the the, the sort of um, yeah. um, just the, the the thrashed out. Uh, heavier slash um, transition filled options that they've had. Even spit out the bone in comparison. They spit out the bone was because they were just going. Yeah. They were just going off. Even though I know that that's not looked at as one of their the best songs from a lot of Metallica fans, but just in terms of just being tight, technical ability, skill wise, yeah. it doesn't seem like this song requires uh, as much. But then again, I'm not a musician, so you guys let me know. So I can see why yeah. people would look at this and be like, nah, man, don't do that. Do this one, yeah. man, when they were going, going hard. But I think musically, though, this has a lot to offer that some of the other options didn't. Like, just the idea yeah. of, of For Whom the Bell Tolls. And I was kind of reading this as we were looking at it, saying that it's, um, and I was you know, saying it's, it is a take on Ernest Hemingway's novel. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about the uh, reproach of modern warfare, um, and I guess the uh, impending demise during the uh, of the combatants impending demise mm-hmm. of the Spanish Civil War. So it looks like throughout this entire time, it was talking about the demise of these soldiers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's what it's I've dope. noticed. You know it's what I'm dope. saying? Yeah. So musically, lyrically, just the concept of this, I think was uh, is a good song. Just not one of my favorites, but still something I can rock. I Ten feel you. Six. No, I feel you, man. Um, not one of my favorites either, but it's, it's going on the uh, playlist. I'm bumping that. That that shit is hard. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say too much, guys. I'm. Tr- I was sitting there as you were doing your conclusion, man. I was really trying to think of uh, an analogy, um, that can really sum up how I feel about Metallica, man. And um, the best one I can come up with, guys, is a basketball analogy, man. You know, I'm from Chicago. You know, I grew up watching Michael Jordan play. I think Michael Jordan was phenomenal. Is phenomenal. You know, did you know wonderful things. Transcended the game, man. But would I call him the best dribbler in the world? No. Nope. Would I call him the best shooter in the world? No. Nope. Would I call him the fastest person in the world? No. Nope. Could he jump the highest in the world? No. Nope. Yeah, he could jump out the gym. But he could jump out the gym, but he's not, I don't think he had the highest vert nope. ever to do it, you know? So relating that back to Metallica, guys, man, and what I mean by that, and um, hold on. So relating that analogy back to Metallica, guys, um, when you look at Metallica and you individualize a certain aspect of what they do, do they have the best drummer in the world? Maybe not. I don't know. Do they have the best guitarist in the world? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Do they have the best singer in the world? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but when you talk about overall, what they're doing overall and putting it, putting this shit together, mm-hmm. this is to me, one of the best, if not the best, to do it. And that's what I saw in Michael Jordan. He wasn't the best dribbler. He wasn't the best shooter. He, wasn't, he, he did all those things very well. Don't get me wrong. But I can give you way a lot. But I think Kyrie Irving got better hand, handles than Jordan mm-hmm. ever had. But Kyrie Irving is not but on Jordan's status, though. Kyrie Irving is an A-plus handler. Right. But in terms of like just pure um, maybe athletic ability, he's probably a C. Right. You know what I'm saying? But so you, so you get what I'm saying. Yeah, as far man. as providing balance, balance and overall, yep. man, Metallica is hitting all these. They're clicking on all cylinders. They may not be the best at one thing, yep. but you don't have to be to be great. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And the sum and of their parts equals um, an amazing sort of uh, conglomerate, right? They're, they're, they're yes. the sum of the parts. They're the ultimate like team like they're like you know what I'm saying when you think of football, it's a team game. Like it's just like you need, you no, know, you need a great offensive line. No, you need the yes. quarterback. You need these pe- these pieces to be great. Correct. In basketball, you can just kind of dominate. But I mean, no, like, get out of here. <laughs> you got one or two players you can fucking dominate the shit. But football, you need all. You need the team to be. Like, give me, give me one or two Lebron. Give me man, Lebron. Just give me scrubs. I've seen Lebron. Press the team to scrubs. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see Lebron carry a whole fucking carry a damn game and shit. And they, they knew he was getting the ball. He was still able to score. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I digress. But just the uh, the sum of the parts equals uh, equals something great. You yeah, know man. what I'm saying? And they just feed off each other well and play with each other well. And and just even the mind of, again, just adding the sophistication. It's kind of playing into what we've been saying the entire yeah. video. Having this, this, the, the sophistication, 
having this sort of commercial viability, but also also speaking to a primal, raw, aggressive yeah. nature. All these things, man, are, are essentially that. You know yeah, what man. I mean? They add a great, great gumbo of balance. So, yes, sir. Salute to the Kings, man. I mean, they. We, I guess the reason why we're saying that is because it, they just they've just had an impression on us. It's like yeah. one of those bands. Like I'm like. Yeah, the world likes them, but I, I get it. I, yeah. I get why they're big, yep. man. I just understand. Yes, it makes sense. Sometimes we, we do shit, and I'm like, I don't know. We, we did a video recently, and I was like, ah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't see it. This I don't see what people are seeing in this particular song or this particular yeah. group. But in this case, I see what people. It's see. validated. It's validated, man. Yeah. So that was a cool ass song to kick off this thrash. It's good. Freaking metal week. Banger. I can't wait. To people get... gonna be mad about that though. But for the most, they're gonna be mad because you should have did this song, but fuck it. That's all right. We're gonna get to it though. We're gonna still figure out how we're gonna pick the songs, guys. But you guys will be. Um, we're gonna get some polls going. We're, we're gonna do stuff that you guys like too, yeah. as well, man. And we want, I mean, I, I'm assuming that you guys like Metallica, but we're gonna get to some specific requests as well. We're still trying to figure that out, man. But we'll do some polls, yeah, man. Yeah, we'll do some polls. And we'll, we'll get some, some stuff, stuff uh, cracking, man. So be on the lookout for that. We got. Um, other videos coming. We'll probably do another Metallica video that we'll probably uh, release on YouTube as well. So because we're gonna do a combination of YouTube and uh, Patreon. Yep. So so you get another. So one. this is gonna be hot, man. This maybe hot. maybe we, we'll see. Yeah. We, I, this, there's a couple that I think we had in mind, but we'll see. Once again, shout out to Harry's for sponsoring this video. And if you're interested, guys, make sure you use our code. It's in the description below. Lost in Vegas to get your trial set for $3. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. If you're interested, it will allow you to get exclusive access to our content. The link for that will be in the description as well. I'm George. That's Ryan. Lost in Vegas. We out. We out.